Hello, fifth grade. This is Miss Gibson coming to you with your reading for today. So, of course, you guys should have Wednesday, June 3rd up for a reading. You guys should have chapter 16 up for your text. This is going to begin on page 114 right here. And, of course, you guys should have the Google Doc open for the stop and drops. So make sure you guys have all three um, Google form open for stop and drops. Make sure you guys have all three pieces up. All right, now let's get started on the text for today. So first, we're going to be beginning with tracking. So today, we're going to be tracking the character interactions Buds continue to have in order to learn more about him and his characteristics. So first, just as a recap, what does Herman E. Calloway think of Bud? What, is it, what are his thoughts of him? Right, so Hermione Calloway clearly does not like Bud right now. He thinks that he's coming to ruin his life, and he doesn't understand why he's accusing him of being his father. All right, so let's um, get into the text to see what else we're learning from what's going on. You guys are going to begin with reading the first two pages independently. So you guys are going to read 114 to the bottom of 115 and stop. As you're reading, you guys will be tracking for showing the understanding of how Bud is feeling after his first night in the house and in the room. So once you're done, you guys are going to get into the first stop and jot of explaining how Bud is feeling after his first night of sleep and explain what he's comparing this sleep to. So again, 114, the end of 115, and then the first stop and jot on this Google form. Go ahead and get started. All right, so welcome back from doing the first stop and job. Explain how Bud is feeling after his first night of sleep and explain what he's comparing this sleep to. So, so this is the first time Bud has actually had the, the best sleep in a while. He didn't even realize that he basically took his clothes off while he before he was sleeping or while he was sleeping in order to even be more comfortable. He's referring to his sleep as being dri driven around as a baby and thinking that this is how rich people sleep because he slept so well all right so he's very excited about the sleep that he just had and he hasn't had anything better since all right next part we're going to read 116 to 117 and we're going to stop after the paragraph ending with your help in deciding what to do as you're reading i want you guys to think about why the adults were talking about bud okay so let's get into it from 116. I noticed right away that Miss Thomas didn't have all her diamond rings on. I guess it would have been hard sleeping with them flashing lights up at you. She must have to keep them closed up in a box that the sparkles can't get out of. I noticed too that even without the rings, Miss Thomas still had the most was still had to be the most beautiful woman in the world. They smiled and said, Good morning, bud, all except Hermione Calloway. He got up from the table and said, I don't like the way Ludine is sounding. I'm going to have a look at her plugs. We went outside through a door at the back of, at the, back of the kitchen. Miss Thomas said, Bud, we just about given up on you. Do you usually sleep until afternoon? Afternoon? Man, I couldn't believe it. I slept as long as those rich folks in the moving pictures. No, ma'am, that's the first time I ever did that. She said, I know you must be starving, but if you can hold out for another half hour or so, Mr. Jimmy's going to make everyone's lunch. Think you could wait? Yes, ma'am. A half hour wasn't nothing to wait, no matter how hungry you were. Mr. Jimmy said, so what's the scoop, little man? I didn't know what that meant, to, so I said, nothing, sir. Steady Eddie said, how'd you sleep, kiddo? Great, sir. Oops, I forgot I wasn't supposed to call the band man, sir. He said, cop a squat. He pointed at a, at a chair. I guess that meant sit down, so I did. Miss Thomas said, were your ears burning last night, bud? Man, all these Grand Rapids people really do talk funny. I only came from the other side of the state, and it was like they talked some strange language out, of, out here. I said, what, ma'am? She said, there's an old saying that when people talk about you behind your back, your ears start to get real warm, kind of like they were burning. I said, no, ma'am. My ears felt just fine. She said, well, they should have been burning. You were the subject of a very long conversation last night. But as sound asleep as you were, I'm really not all that surprised you didn't notice I had to check your pulse to make sure you were still alive. Shucks, I knew it. 
She did come in when I was conked out and took my doggone pants and shirt off and put me there. Man, this was real embarrassing. Miss Thomas said, Mr. Calloway and the band and I talked about you for a long time. We've come up with something we want to discuss with you, but we need your help in deciding what to do. All right. So why do you guys think the adults were up talking about butt all night? Correct. So in the midst of everything, they are still trying to figure out why he has come to say that Herman E. Calloway is his father. And of course, trying to figure out what they're going to do with him because they can't send him back. Where is he going to go? So this is why he used the topic of discussion. All right. Now, you guys are going to read the rest of page 117 to the end of 120. Then you will get into the second stop and job of explaining how Bud feels after receiving gifts from Eddie. It's connected to our teaching point of understanding the main character more through their character interactions. But Bud is experiencing something he hasn't felt in years. So you guys are again going to read the rest of page 117 and stop at the end of page 120. And then you guys are going to get into the second stop and jot for today on the Google form. So go ahead and get started and pause the video. All right, so welcome back from doing stop and jot number two, explaining how Bud feels about receiving the gifts. So in this moment, he is feeling very excited and happy that he's receiving something, that um, receiving a gift in general. He has never received any gift before. He's very excited for this. And it's important to him because this is an important time for him because they're actually making him feel like he is wanted and um, there for a reason. So he's becoming to feel like a, a part of the family in the sense. So he's saying how um, he's like very excited. He can't he can't stop smiling and he's saying wow in astonishment because he didn't even expect this from them. And now he just feels a part of their family, a part of the band, and he feels like he belongs again somewhere that he hasn't been feeling like that before. All right, so now you guys are going to get into the finishing the chapter again. So you guys are going to finish the rest of the chapter, and then you guys are going to get into the last stop and jot, which is a reflection of what's going on with Bud. So what decisions does Buddy Bud what decisions does Bud make in this chapter that is evidence of his growth and acceptance of the reality of his life? So in this moment, this is where we are talking about what's going on with Bud and how it's shaping him to be a different person than when we first met him. So you guys are going to reflect on this in that last stop and jot. And then after that, get started on the exit ticket. Your secret code for today is Kiwi, K-I-W-I. Okay. So again, you're going to finish this. Um, Finish reading the rest of the chapter, and you're going to get into the last stop and jot. It's almost like a pretty extra ticket to see how you guys are viewing what Bud is doing right now, how the decisions he's making in this chapter is showing his growth and acceptance of the reality of his life. So how is he growing as a person? <clears throat> what is he doing now? How is he viewing life? How is he growing as a character? It's your job to um, figure that out based off of this chapter once you're done reading. All right, so go ahead and get started, and then after that, get into the exit ticket. Have a good day.